everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Eden Zero Chapter 7. So, last chapter, still 50 years in the past, and we're trying to find Professor Weiss. We went up his up uh, up against his arch nemesis, which was weird and all that. And we found out what's in the case um, that Weiss was protecting, and it was a robot. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. And this chapter is titled Iron Tears. Here we go. The case contained not money, but a small robot girl? Oh, I cannot find my master's figure. First it was a giant robot, then it's the small robot? I'm uh, an anti-machine android for your information. Okay. <laughs> my name... My name is Empino. What the fuck is what this is? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, my name is Empino. Please call me Pino. But just, <laughs> that sounds so weird. I'm sorry, the name sounds weird. It wasn't money? Oh my god. Why is this like, what the fuck? I thought I stole money. Wait, what? But dude, th that is money that you have. No. A power outage? My apologies. Tis the effect of my EMP. EMP? Oh my gosh! It has an electromagnetic pulse. Holy crap. Electromagnetic pulse. They're electromagnetic uh, waves that temporarily shut down, uh, shuts down electronic equipment. So that means happy too. I see. So that's why you couldn't use your other gear anymore. Happy! Oh, the light's back on. Um, that was surprising. Please be at ease. Uh, my power is only effective for a few seconds. Ah, uh, and there's happy. Well... <laughs> What? What happened? Did I just stop working for a bit? Thank goodness. So he really uh, was a machine. <laughs> Why? Is, God damn it. Um, you you sure have a cool power. Be my friend. Not this again. And shamelessly to boot. Friend? The definition of friend does not seem to match the circumstances of the situation, but I will allow it. So she's your friend now. As for you, well, I'll have to put a put you on hold. I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> what fucking lies is like? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't. I never asked you. What the hell is happening? The case didn't actually contain money. Professor, you actually wanted to steal money from those guys? Yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> but can this bot actually be sold for a lot? I'm the personal property of my master who created me. I don't have a market price. Well, of course she would say that. I woke up because I thought I heard uh, Master's voice, but Master, is it that bastard, bastard Cyber? Cyber? Beep, beep, beep. Uh, load, loading da uh, data restoring damaged memory. Cyber, new Master. Master Cyber's orders, absolute. Master Cyber's orders, absolute. No! What's happening? Did you break it? You, ba uh, you bastard! Um... I'm scared of going against uh, Master Cyber's wishes. Master Cyber's orders are absolute. Checking schedule. Hey, initializing uh, destination transfer protocol. Well, wait a sec. Could it be? Is that bastard Cyber plane to use the bot's EMP to make money? Holy crap. With an EMP, like hacking electronic money? I should take this chance. <laughs> Fuck it, what? about cyber earlier it's not a name it's not a name uh people often say they're a thief gang uh, terrorizing the city after all if he sets his sight on you you're not leaving this town alive professor weiss is a regular of this shop isn't he do you know something about him that piece of shit <laughs> piece of shit um he was ordinarily um or not his fucking name he was originally cyber's comrade but they uh seem to have a fallen out recently although i don't know the details so the professor was a thief when he was young? Uh, so the professor was a thief when he was young. I thought he'd be different. 
What are we gonna do now? I'm not sure. Uh, first of all, we should check if the ship is safe and sound. Then we can try going back to Blue Garden. Hmm, maybe the ship is some kind of time time machine. That would... You know, Mashima, that would be really freaking cool if you made the ship into a time machine. To make that... Dude, that would just be so freaking sweet. I would totally be down with this. Even though we have seen... There are tons of series that do time travel... Um, I, I wouldn't mind having this series be a time traveling series. I really wouldn't. That'd be pretty goddamn cool. Um, is it okay to just leave the professor and Pina behind? I've said this a lot of times, but we are in the past. We can't get involved any more than this. And to think I've made new friends. With the professor, anyway. Oh, right. This thing was in Pino's case. It's like the square thing you guys have. A BQ? Hey, you're not supposed to take that. Did I just switch roles into a thief? No! Whoa! Dance, Pio Pio. This is the guy in the huge robot. It's Cyber! Looks like the video from a week ago. I'm telling you to dance, you scum! Did you forget that I picked you up from the streets? I'm not programmed with that ability. I am an anti-machine android. Oh, poor Pino! Pino! I want I um I want to see some iron doll dancing action. Oh my god, that sounds so freaking wrong. Cyber, you might want to rephrase that. <laughs> that just sounds bad. P please stop. If you can't dance, then you don't need this leg then. Please stop, I beg you. <gasps> oh, my left leg is torn apart. It got torn off. Yeah. Fucker, that's not cool, man. This is robot torture. Uh, uh, restoring regular system operations. Who's your master? My, my master is me. Eek, yeah. Erase all memories of your previous master. That is the only thing I cannot do. They are precious memories. Please, anything but that. Erase them yourself. Delete your memories. I cannot. Take them out, take them out and erase them. Yes, sir. Please don't erase them. Help, help me. Th this is horrible. Do you want me to fix the leg as well? Stop, help me, stop it. It doesn't need the leg for work. You can put it um, in a nail or whatever. You, oh, God, this, this guy is fucked up. Pio, Pio, I know, I know. Master, I cannot remember anything about you. My leg has also been taken from me. I want to go home. Oh, this is breaking my heart. I, I want to go home back to my master. I'll take you to him. Shiki. Oh, wait, Shiki, don't try to stop me. It doesn't matter if we're in the past. My friend is in tears. I have no intentions of stopping you. I can't forgive that guy either. The last maintenance date is uh, recorded on the case. Year X-492. It's the year that we arrived. So basically, while we don't know the specifics, Pino is an android from this time's future. It came to the era, this era just like us. If Cyber is using it for evil purposes, then I can't just sit back and watch. The past has already been ruined by Cyber. We've got to stop him. Wait for us, Pino. Oh my god. Mashima, please make this in, like, a Time Squad, like, manga, but, like, if, if, but, um, instead of, like, important events in history on Earth, but, uh, just, like, going to different time periods throughout space, since you've already said the concept of time doesn't really exist <laughs> in this series. So, anyway, um, I, I have returned. Well, look at you coming back here all by yourself, hmm? Pio, I have no idea. You know what you have to do, right? Yes, okay then. The time has come to take over this entire town. Take over the town? Just what is he planning? Initiate the plan. The die is cast. The souls of Shiki and uh, the rest are um, burning to recover Pino. The destroyers of the South. The Foot Brothers? That's Cyber. He actually brought those dangerous pawns with him? Woo! Next chapter is going to be good. Um, it, it'd be continued in chapter 8 titled Clash uh, the uh, Cyber Family. So... I really, really hope, again, as I've been saying throughout this video, I would love to see more time traveling in this series. Um, because it's very, very fascinating to me. I, I think it's cool, and it's a lot different than a lot of the fantasy and a lot of the sci-fi series that I'm reading right now. Um, so I just think that would be really cool if we had, like... Um, if we had time traveling up in, more time traveling up in here. Like after, no, you know, like after we leave um, Planet Norma, I'm saying that we go, like, we're just like going into different random parts of time as we're traveling because <laughs> it's just be so fucking trippy. 
Why? It would because it, Mashima has made it possible because he said, uh, I think a couple chapters ago, he said that the concept of time does not exist. So we can do this shit. Let's do it, Mashima. I am down with it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think of this chapter? What do you guys think of the potential with this series? Especially if we become like a time traveling uh, manga. Not just a time traveling manga, but like time traveling in space. That'd just be freaking awesome. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and Premium PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.